Today's horror manga dub and narration is Biohouse by Jinji Ito. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the manga. Ah, blood. His blood. I want his blood. That taste. That ineffable scent. No, no. I can no longer resist. Perhaps tonight. I got out of my vehicle and peered at the nearby house. That's a vacation house. Wow, how nice. After a drive like that, you must be tired. Come on in, Kubata. Thank you. He placed his hand around my shoulder, and as we entered, there was four beautiful vixens playing a harmonious tune. So, who are those beautiful performers? Oh, them? They're just my maid servants. They take care of the police. It's their way of welcoming you home. That melody, it's so beautiful. Well, what do you say? How about some dinner, huh? As you wish, sire. Now, why don't you head to your room and relax for a while? I'll let you know when dinner is ready. Later that day, he called me down to the dining room. So then, how's that job of yours? Are you breaking in it at all? Yes, I am. It's going much more smoothly now. Very good. This new biotechnology business we've got in the burner it's a very promising field. With a secretary of your talents, I expect business to start booming in no time flat. Anyhow, that's not what excites me. What is exciting to me is that we seem to share the same hobby. With all due respect, sir, I'm not sure it qualifies as a hobby. Still, yes. I do have a certain yen for unusual cuisine. It blows my mind that such a pretty thing like you would be into gross foods. Well, I suppose you can't judge a book by its cover. Indeed. And so the two of us sat before a banquet of quite exotic foods, some of which you might not even recognize. Even for a discerning eye like mine, I felt a little overwhelmed. My friends mostly go for the creepy crawlies. Uncooked, of course. What? You mean raw? These here. They are fresh camel crickets. They don't get too many takers. Why don't you give them a try? Every now and then you can even taste the parasites. Uh, I take it this is what gives you all your energy, sir. You've got it. They keep my passions buzzing, even at my age. He poured a blood-red liquid into my glass, and I covered my mouth with my handkerchief in embarrassment. Well, I guess you can't handle them raw. All you've had are a few fried lizards. You must still be hungry. Uh, no, really, it was delicious. Hey. You know, I've got something extra special for you. Hang on just a minute, will you? I'll go and fetch it. Be back in a jiff. I thought to myself for a moment there. This is too much. And I heard him rustling in the room nearby. To be honest, I was terrified what he was going to bring from that room. Well, thank you so much for waiting. Huh? Is this... Blood? Blood of what, I wonder? Why don't you see for yourself? If it's Snake, I'm quite fond of- <gasps> He looked at me with a disgusted face. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but this- You don't like it? No, I'm afraid it's not my thing. To say the least, what is this stuff? It's revolting. Hmm, well, that's too bad. 
It's my own blood, you know. His eyes went cold then, losing their pupils inside. I was ready to run for it. Wait, what did you say? That's right. You heard me right. My own blood freshly squeezed straight out of my own veins. You will drink it, won't you? Oh, please, sir. You're joking, right? Clearly, I can't, especially if it's yours. You can't? Or you won't. You can drink Snake's blood, but you won't touch mine? Uh, sir? Drink it. Drink it now. Go on. Drink it. No! Stop it! Then he looked at me with a sinister face. To be honest, I was scared shitless. Do I have it right? Are you disobeying me? Do you know what happens to those who disobey me? He clutched at his neck unbandaging the wrap that was around it. What was underneath that bandage was a bunch of lacerations. Lacerations that was caused by self-mutilation. He held up a knife towards his neck. Mr. President, no! And then he just stared at me with such disappointed eyes. He gouged his neck once again. Now drink. Bring grace to my blood. Consume me into your beauty. Come on now. Somebody, please help me. But he just kept on gushing blood out, trying to use it as a projectile to soak me in it. Please, please, you have to help me. Stop! But he just kept on chasing me, soaking his violinists in blood too. Then, something sinister happened. Their faces almost became demonic. Each one of them bared their teeth, revealing underlying fangs. Blood. They chuckled. What are you expecting it to open? Hmm? Honestly, I was stuck. I was trapped. I was cornered. Then all of a sudden, the servants jumped at him, tearing flesh from his body. Please, master, give us blood. You, you idiots. Go on, catch that girl. There will be plenty of blood for whoever gets it. I witness one of his maids lick up each individual morsel of his blood. I saw the nearby staircase, then I looked behind me, but I saw those sinister maids were right behind me. They latched onto me. Here, I caught her. Hey, I had her first. Hang on, there's so much, it's not fair, she'll lick it all up. Hey, what are you guys doing? What is all this now? Chase her! But I ran and ran down the corridor, opening up the door and closing it slowly behind me. It, it, it must be a dream, a nightmare or else some new reality show. Sweat dripped down my brow, and then I noticed all kinds of crazy insects and bugs just crawling beneath the floorboards. But it was more than just the floorboards. This, this must be his pantry or his garden. What a horrific man. Then I heard his voice echoing through the hallways. Hey, Kubana, show yourself. Trying to think on my feet, I tried to find a place to hide. 
Hobby? More like obsession. What is wrong with this man? But he kept on wandering, looking for me. Maybe it was something he ate. I looked over beside me, and I saw the most grotesque looking insect. I couldn't keep it in. I ended up screaming from the top of my lungs. He noticed immediately, turning behind him, and opening the door. Oh, there you are. He pinned me against the wall, and I didn't know what to do. Now that I had no place to run, what he did, oh so wretched, he vomited blood all over my face until it was dripping down each individual fold and crevice within. But then, something startled him. Oh, how did you get out of your cage? You're my latest creation, a result of my genome experiments. A single, unique camel cricket. How delicious you'll be, and how you've grown. Yes, you have. I wonder, have you ever tried a secretary? I bet it'd make you all big and fat. Hey, Kubata. Eat this! It was a direct hit. I nailed him right in the head with his own creations. I stood over him, blood dripping down my body. I was in a state of shock. Had I really killed the man? I took a moment to collect my thoughts, and then I said, No more. But then that insect bit me. No! And I hadn't noticed that his eyes were opening. You freak! I kicked the insect away. But then, with my peripheral vision, I noticed he was standing up. He lunged at me with the last of his strength. I tumbled into a set of boxes, but then his eyes went cold, and he fell flat, flat on his stomach. I had done it. I escaped him. He was finally dead. But then, what happened next terrified me. All the insects were released. They began to crawl all over his body. I couldn't believe my eyes. They were starting to consume him, to consume his flesh, each one of them wrapping around his body, eating him to the bone. I walked out of the room struggling to keep my balance. Well, there's some irony. Down the staircase where I saw his maid still consuming his blood, I uttered a few last words to them. If you head on upstairs, you'll find a lot more where that came from. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos. And don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone, goodbye.